Taking you to lunch, Michael, but uh it's California tea, alright. Yeah. Alright. Take you up one notch. <laughs> you kicked it up, you kicked it up to the top notch. Cool. So Very California? Cool. California tea. Yeah, okay. I'm supposed to start crying now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, the, you know, I mean uh, I know you've been looking at them and checking them out, and, and like Matt said, uh, it's all about the turbo now, right? Oh yeah. How about this color? That's great. It's not, you know, the, they're starting to get away from the red for everybody. You know, everybody's yeah. It's been red for so long that they got some really cool colors coming out now. There's a, a lot of choices, and the car has a lot of differences. I couldn't believe how many differences from the styling to the the things on the interior, and especially that motor. That's the biggest thing. You know, is the turbocharged motor now. How many yeah. horsepower did yours put out? I think mine put out around. 480 to 90 in there or something like that. So over a hundred horsepower more. Yeah. Wow. So so should we take it to lunch? Sure, why not? <laughs> All right. And then maybe later on. You're not gonna say no, right? You're not gonna say no. I'll take it and I won't come back. <laughs> and, and maybe later on we'll have to do a little pseudo uh, comparison drive. Yeah, there we go. We go. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Well let's right. go let's Good. grab some lunch. Cool. And the critics said that it was an unusable rear seat. <laughs> Comfortable? As far as you know. Wow. That's as far as the seat goes up, dude. <laughs> really? I swear to God. Look. <laughs> Don't go. thing well and it, it's a vast improvement too is the, the introduction of the turbos because they yeah. haven't had twin turbos on a Ferrari since the F40 vast improvement I'm almost a hundred horsepower more than my yeah, it's car. approaching 600 horsepower
there obviously is a noticeable difference. Put it on my wish list here, maybe. Uh... It's really user friendly. I mean, you know, I got in the car and I'm thinking, okay, here we go, a new Ferrari. And this is the newest car I've driven since you know, the 599. And I'm going, wow, this thing is really, I mean, it's, I don't want to say it's tame because the thing hauls butt. I mean, it gets yeah. up and <laughs> no lag, no nothing. The thing just smokes. The first thing we, we talked about when we got in the car was, how is the engine going to be different from the naturally aspirated car? And is it going to feel like there's turbo lag? Is it going to feel like it's really different? And, uh, and you know, th this is a car that's, uh, it went from 483 horsepower naturally aspirated to 552. And it's, the increase in torque is 185 pound-feet. So it's got an incredible amount of torque. But what's interesting is Ferrari really wanted to, to have it feel like a naturally aspirated car. So to get the full 557 pound-feet of torque, it gets that in the seventh speed. The maximum torque is 443 pound-feet of torque, and it does it higher up in the rev range. So you feel more like the linear uh, uh, progression of power, like a naturally aspirated car, and then that turbo really starts to, to increase the torque higher up in the RPM range, and, and it, it really is different for each gear. That's some pretty smart programming that they've got there. But it's I, My final impression of the car is that uh, it's definitely a great touring GT to own, and uh, if I could only own one. And uh, I, I, I enjoyed driving it, because when you stood on it and you came into a turn or something like that, it didn't feel like it was getting away from you. You really felt comfortable with the car, and uh, and it and it really was it was fun to drive. Thanks so. to Ferrari for sending <laughs> us this car, and uh, and if Mikey orders one, you know, just I'm just saying, a little we little should credit, get a hit. Little credit, yeah. little credit, credit to shift. shifted steer.